video, I'm going to show you how to create an estimate or an invoice as a team manager or an admin in the mobile app. There are several different areas on the app where you can create an estimate or an invoice. It's really dependent on your particular preference and really your workflow. So from the dashboard, you'll see in the middle, you can click create estimate or create invoice. If you click, uh, if you look at the very bottom of the application and you click into sales, from the sales tab, you'll notice the estimate and invoice. If you click into estimate, you can see all estimates. Uh, you can see the different statuses. So if you wanted to search a particular estimate, you can always click on the um, magnifying glass here. You can um, see any rejected, scheduled, ready or lost. If you click back, you can click into invoices directly below estimates. From here, you can see the um, really all your invoices. You can select from a particular status as well as search. You can also create a brand new invoice from this screen as well by clicking into the create new in the bottom right hand corner. If we go back, if you click into schedule, you can also create an estimate or an invoice directly from a job. So as a reminder in the top right hand corner, if you want to expand the jobs and see additional details, you can click right next to the magnifying glass, the arrows pointing up and down, and this is going to provide more information on the jobs. So from this screen, if we're looking at the very first job, the installation, you can see the dates, the customer address, the job status, and then right below there, you'll see create an invoice. So you can create an invoice by clicking directly into the job. If I click in here, we have a couple different areas as well. So you'll notice directly in the center of the screen above the action bar, you see create invoice. That's one area. If you click into the actions, you can create an estimate or an invoice from that actions bar. And last but not least, if you look at the very top of the screen, you'll see info selected, activity, comments, subtasks. If we scroll over just a bit, you can click into estimates and invoices, and you can create an invoice directly from here. So if I click create invoice, it's gonna pull over the information from this job. So we see Joe Dyson, we see the invoice title, which you can adjust if you'd like by clicking into it. You can see the job that we're relating it to. If you want to include a due date or an invoice date, you absolutely can do so. Here under notes, these notes will be included on the invoice if you so choose. And then underneath here, you can begin building your invoice. So to add a line item, you can click here. You'll notice that um, it's going to give you a full list of all of your line items that you have in your item repository. You can look at recent, you can create a new line item at the very top, or you can just search for one that is already in the system. So if um, you begin typing the item, you can select from what is already included. You'll see below here, it's gonna give you the invoice item name. It's gonna give you it, the unit cost. As a reminder, this is what it costs you. So the unit price is what you're charging your customer. You can see quantity, whether it's taxed or not and then you can include a description. If everything looks good, you can hit save. You can add as many line items as you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more. Let's just say we are going to be charging for labor. You can select the proper one. If all looks well, you can hit save. If you scroll down just a bit, you can group items together. So if you wanted to group the items together by clicking that, you could do something like service, just as an example, you can include a description. If you want to select a visibility category, if you select this, you can um, really select whatever your preference is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So from here, if you click and hold on to the line item you're wanting to drag into that group, you'll notice that it pops up, you can drag and drop into the proper group here. 
Once everything looks good, you hit save. From here, you will notice at the top, same, same icons that you see used to sing for the job. You can see the line items, the groups, you can see the tax. If everything looks good, you can view the invoice. This is gonna show you the dynamic URL that you're emailing over to the customer. You'll see your cust uh, company name, all of the information that you want to show, any comments that you included, as well as the invoice breakdown. If you want to see the PDF version of this, you can always select PDF and you can see what this looks like from here. If we go back to the dynamic URL and we click into the settings at the top right, here we're gonna give you a list of everything that displays on the invoice. Uh, depending on preference, you can toggle on and off what you want to show. Um, and again, all of these are actually set up in the company settings, but you can adjust these manually one by one as well. So if everything looks good, you can select actions. And then from here, you can email over to your customer. So if you want to do it from field polls, you'll see the from to. You can enter um, the email address here. You can adjust the subject line body. You'll notice down below we have a couple different options. If you are set up to take credit card payments, you can include the payment request here. If you want to get a signature on this invoice, you can toggle that on. If you wanna add attachments, if you want to include files or even upload additional files, you can do so here. And then you can hit send in the top right corner. Once you've sent that over, you can see when it's been accepted by the signature. If we go back to the schedule, you'll notice that we now have a draft stamp on here indicating that we have not emailed that out. If we scroll down, you can see any other jobs where you're still needing to send an invoice and you'll notice the invoice stamp at the bottom. If you have questions, comments, or need any assistance in building out an estimate or an invoice from the new mobile app, please don't hesitate to reach out, support at fieldpulse.com. Thanks so much.